Hey everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm gonna to be teaching you how to add mods to a Minecraft 1.17.1 server. Now, here's the deal. You need a Forge server in order for this video to work. This will not work on a paper server. This will not work on a vanilla server. This will not work on any other kind of server than a Forge server. The good news is we have a link at the eye at the top of your screen that shows you exactly how to set up a Forge server. It goes over every single step of that and basically makes it super easy to set up a Forge server, but not as easy as Apex Minecraft hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own forge server in just a few clicks. We actually launched this apex so much that we host our own server, played our breakdowncraft.com on them. And if you want to start a forge server to start a mod pack and play a mod pack with your friends, Apex Minecraft hosting makes that even easier because they allow one click installation of over 150 mod packs. Again, we love and trust Apex so much that we use them themselves and they have the easiest setup of forge and modded Minecraft servers with mod packs out there. So again, check out Apex the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get your server started and basically skip both of these tutorials. The one on how to start a forest server and the one on how to install mods because Apex makes it all easy. Thanks to them for sponsoring this video. Nevertheless, let's go ahead though and assume you do have your Forge server set up. What's the next step? Well, the next step is actually installing Forge locally as well, which is going to be the link in the description down below, which is called R Forge Tutorial. It's linked in the description down below. It says R Forge Tutorial and then links out to this website, the Breakdown XYZ. This is our website where we have our complete Forge tutorial, including our video and text guides on how to install Forge. It goes over everything. You need Forge installed locally and a Forge server in order for this to work. I know it's annoying, but this is what it is. It's part basically of the process of, you know, starting a modded server. It's the most difficult kind of server to start, and that's why we recommend Apex or someone else. They're just good at doing this easily. Nonetheless, though, once you've got Forge server and you've got Forge installed locally, we can finally download some mods. Now, not every Minecraft mod is going to work on servers, but we do know that Gravestones does. This is linked in the description down below. Hit the uh, yellow download button on our website, and it will then take you to Gravestones' official download page. So here we are in the Gravestones mods download page. We can come over to the right hand side, scroll down until we see Gravestone mod right here under Minecraft 1.17. Click on the orange download button next to that and the download will begin after a few seconds. Now we will need to keep this in the bottom left of Google Chrome or save it in the screen of your screen on Mozilla Firefox. You're gonna have to do that with all Minecraft mods. It's super easy. We're also going to install Spark because I always like to install more than one mod. And what this does is basically allow your server to get data about its performance. You can profile the CPU and see why it's lagging and things like that. It's great for diagnosing server lag. Come over here to the right hand side scroll down into this Minecraft 1.17 section and we want to make sure if we're downloading a mod we're downloading the Forge version of the mod as you can see there's a Fabric and a Forge version we want to download the Forge version towards the top here click the orange download button to the right of that and the download will begin again after a few seconds you know the process from here on out you just save it or keep it depending on your browser there we go we can now go ahead and keep this and minimize our browser here now, on our desktop, if I actually go ahead and refresh here, we do have Gravestone and Spark right there on our desktop. These are on your desktop. They're going to be found in your downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon on the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. But click on that little Windows icon on the top bottom left of your screen. Type in downloads. You have this downloads file folder here. And you want to go ahead and drag these from here to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, how do we install these mods on our server? Well, we have our Forge server right here. So let's go ahead and open up our Forge server file. And then in here, we should have a mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you don't have a, mod, a Forge server. So you need to go get this mods folder here for this to work. So go ahead and double click on mods here. Then we want to go ahead and drag and drop any mods we want into this mods folder. Simple as that. To install mods on your Forge server, drag and drop them into your mods folder. And we also need to install these mods locally. Now there's two ways to do this. There's the way of opening Minecraft and going through that whole process. And there's the way to install mods without ever opening Minecraft. We're gonna choose that method today. So to do that, you wanna click the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom of your screen. That little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen. Type in run. You'll then have this run app here. Open up that. And then in this app, you wanna type percent sign, app data percent sign, so percent, app data percent, and hit enter. That's then gonna open up our roaming folder where you'll have a dot Minecraft folder. And in here, you should have a mods folder. But Nick, I don't have a mods folder. Wow, I don't either. What do we do if we don't have a mods folder here? Well, we can just right click and create a new folder and then title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. Now you wanna open up your mods folder and then you wanna copy all the mods from your Forge server mods folder into the local mods folder found in .minecraft. So now we have two folders. This is our mods folder on .minecraft and this is our mods folder on our Forge server and they are the exact same. They both have the exact same mods. If we had 100 mods, these folders would have to be the exact same in order for the mods to work when we get in the server. 
And actually, for us to be able to join the server at all, they must have the same mods. So now let's go ahead and close out of both of these mods folders. And then we're going to go ahead and launch our server. So to do that, you're going to double click on the run.bat file. I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut and I'll meet you once this server is running. So here we are, as you can see, our Forge server is now running. We have the new two consoles that you get in 1.17 servers. So pretty cool there. Now I'm going to go ahead and close out of the Forge server here and open up our Minecraft launcher. Now we don't want to slam the play button. We want to make sure that we are launching Minecraft with Forge here. So you can go to installations, click on modded if you don't have that, and it should have a Forge profile up here. I also want to make sure our resolution is good, which it is. And now we go ahead and click play on Forge. Now that you confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, that's perfectly normal. Let's go ahead and let Forge open. I'll meet you on the main menu. We'll join these servers and connect everything together. So as we can see, Minecraft with Forge is now open. If we click on the mods tab, we do see Spark and Gravestone in there. That's confirming that those are in fact there. Let's go ahead and open up multiplayer and direct connect to our server. Since this is a local server, we'll just be using local host here. Click join server and it's going to join us right on in. But most importantly, our mods will be active. Spark is the easiest one to test and it's actually really, really cool for servers. So we're going to go ahead and do Spark and then we'll do... Oh, Oh, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to die by this zombie. I'm going to die by this zombie. We're not opt, so I need to, I need to be opt here. So let's go ahead and do that really fast. Op, and then myself. Boom, right like so. Now we are getting some errors actually from Spark over here. Most probably likely due to me be not being modded, but let's see. So we can do Spark, and then we want to, yes, that was it. We're going to go ahead and do Spark, and then Profiler, and then we're going to do dash dash start. It's going to start profiling our server, basically following the activities on the server, what is happening, all of that stuff. And later in the video here, we're going to stop that, and we'll get a lag profile. It's very, very cool, very, very helpful to, for diagnosing server lag. We actually use it as one of our tools on Breakdown Craft for doing that. Nonetheless, once we've got that, we can go ahead and test gravestones. But the easiest way to do that, I think, is going to actually be to go into creative, fly into the air, and then fall to our death, basically. Um, it's a little bit morbid, but it is what it is. So we're going to go fly up in the air. We're pretty low on hearts anyway, so this right here should do it. And then we're going to do game mode survival, bam, and boom. There we go. But there is a gravestone. Now, I don't know exactly where I was there, so... I might do it again closer. There it is. There's our gravestone. Now, if we had anything in our inventory, we didn't, and uh, we broke this. It would actually give us what was in our inventory. However, we can right-click it, see when we died there, and then we could also mine it with a silk touch pick, and it would actually pick it up. We can make a graveyard and things like that. But if we break it and we had any items, it would have been in there. So there you have it. That's how you can install mods on your server. The most important thing is having the mods both locally on your computer and on your server's mod file. Now, here's the thing. Everyone playing your server has to have the mods locally as well as on the server, right? So what I mean by that is the server has the mods, you're good to go. That's kind of your responsibility. But it's also important that you go ahead and make sure all of the mods are made available to your friends who are playing on the server. This can be done as a mod pack, all sorts of things. But do note that if you do redistribute mods, you need to make sure that they're allowed in a mod pack and not all mods are. So that is something to think about. However, at the end of the day, you do need your mods installed on your server. And anyone who plays on your server needs to have those in mods installed locally as well. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and stop Spark. So to do that, we're going to do ahead and do slash spark and then profile dash dash stop and then it's going to go ahead and spit out the results to us actually on a helpful link here so we can go ahead and click on that and it's going to open a link i have to copy and paste it bam and there we go so this is a profile of our server and what it was doing so we can see here that it was running this what exactly where is you know kind of causing the most lag well it's going to be something to do with tick that's not uncommon and you can just kind of click down through here until you do get kind of deep down into the lag of what the server could be. And it says unsafe.park. I have no clue what that is, but I could Google it and maybe get some, you know, different ideas there. Overall, though, this server wasn't really lagging, so we don't have much of anything to do. Uh, we can see that, you know, dedicated server is going to have some issues, which is going to pretty much be all the different stuff on our, on our server. Like even the day-night cycle is actually on here. So yeah, there you have it. That is how you can uh, basically profile what resources your server is using. But nevertheless, that is also how you can add mods to Minecraft 1.17.1 servers. You do need a Forge server. You do need to have Forge installed locally for this to work. But overall, that is how you can do it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Be sure to use our other resources for how to install Forge locally and how to start your Forge server to get those up and running. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. Come play with us on play.breakdowncraft.com, the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Need up that. Should say 1.17 support. My bad. Come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. I can't wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.